The Walking Dead, issue 57. That wasn't your fault. You can't let it get to you. I was there. Those people made you cool them. They didn't give you a choice. You're not an animal. You're in control. I just don't know sometimes, really. Ever since I lost Beth and the kids, I just lost it. I can't. I need that center. I need help to keep it all in. You have me. Come on, tough guy. We don't want to think that something's up. Let's go. We're going to ride on ahead a little bit while you guys clear the road. Okay, we'll catch up. Come back if there's any trouble. Must be another wreck. I'll see if he's going to push off with the truck or if he needs my help. Should we set up camp? Don't know. I'll ask. Why are we stopped? Looks like that wreck is blocking the road. I'll check and be right back. You stay put. Fine. I think we should just go ahead and set up camp? I know it's early, but this looks like a good spot. Nah, this wreck doesn't look so bad. Can you tell Michonne to keep Romy's back on the right while Andrew watches the left? Easy one, huh? Yep, I'll just push the whole mess off the road. You think you could stand there and make sure the truck doesn't get hooked onto anything? Can do. Keep it coming! Keep it coming! Ooh. That's got it! We're clear! Did you check the car for good- Yeah. We'll catch up. Jerk. Rick's behind us now. Oh good. Took him a while to close the gap. Hope you didn't have a hard time getting it started. Don't remember those things being very reliable. We need to be looking for a better vehicle. It's getting cold here soon. This truck is extremely impractical for cold weather. Agreed. I haven't seen any RVs along the way so far. But that'd be ideal. Something we could sleep in would be nice. Ugh. I don't know about that. The smell of that RV after we lived in it for so long still haunts me. I think we'd do fine with a pickup truck and a small car. Also, two smaller vehicles would probably get better gas mileage than this monster. Maybe. I wouldn't really know. Sounds like a plan. I wouldn't mind being behind the wheel again. It looks like we're stopping. What's the matter? Horses get tired? Interstate. Didn't know if you wanted to take it. Could you guys look the map over? See which way would be best? Thanks. I'll be back. Let's go raid that gas station. We taking the interstate north? Don't know yet. Checking the map. Hmm. Next to nothing in the way of food, but some useful stuff. We were running low on aspirin. No cigarettes again. I swear that must have been the first thing to go. Well? We've gone far enough north to miss Atlanta. We need to keep going east now, so we'll stay on this road. We don't need to hit the interstate yet. We could take 75 north, but I think it would be faster to keep going east until we hit 95. That'll take us north right into D.C. I'll go tell Rick. Something on your mind, friend? I want to go north. I want to take the interstate. Eugene says we go east. No interstate. Why do you want to go north? The town I'm from is only four hours north by old standards. It's 250 miles or so. I came down to Atlanta in the beginning. It took maybe 10 hours, maybe 11. It's not very far. Pardon me, but so fucking what? Are you homesick? There are people I'd like to check on. But I'm a little bit more practical than you'd give me credit for. There's a locked, secure police station that I have the keys to, and there's a good deal of supplies locked inside. I'm listening. It would be a short trip, one day there, one day back. It would be worth it for the supplies we could get. Okay, people, listen up. We're setting up camp here, now, tonight. This area seems safe enough. We'll start setting up tents in the field behind the gas station. We're gonna be here for two days. I don't like to stay in one place, but I think this is worth it. Rick and I are going to take the car up to the police station a couple hundred miles north. Should only take two days. We'll need the guns, supplies, whatever else we'll find, so this is worth it. We'll be back here soon, so wait for us. I'm not leaving my son here. I wouldn't expect you to. I'm fine with it. 
I'm ready for a break from the drive. I'd like to search the area though. If we find a better place to stay, we'll leave a note inside the gas station. We won't be far away. So, no objections then? I don't like him. He's bullheaded, son. I don't like him either. I think he's worried we won't come back. I don't think he would want us to go alone. And to be honest, I don't mind the protection. I should go with you. To be honest, Michonne, having you here would ease my mind on the safety and well-being of the folks staying here. They need you. I don't like it, but I'll stay. You be careful. Dawn on day three, and I'm coming after you. Another reason to have you here. A backup plan. We'll see you soon. You're going to be okay alone with him? It'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Promise. You ready? I need to pee. Again? We just stopped an hour ago. Might well go easy on that war, son. This area looks good. Yeah. We don't have enough daylight to get through the mountains. And we may not find another patch of road without curves or hills. We can see pretty far around us here. We'll camp here tonight. I'll take first watch. <sighs> don't. Fucking. Move. Get the other two out of the back. You done fucked up, asshole. This here's our road. You gotta pay. This one's just a boy. Little helpless boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Now hold on, man. Let's not get crazy. We just want your stuff. We won't kill you unless you make us- <gasps> ah! Shut up! Ah! I'm gonna kill every goddamn one of you. Shut the fuck up and put your hands up. Dad, help! <clears throat> we got a fucker here, boys. I'm about to fuck him up. Ah, fucker! You fucked up, man. Brought a stump to a fist fight. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Take the boy's pants off. Please! Ugh, don't! You'll get yours. Just wait your turn. You brought this on yourself. This is your fault. We're gonna have some fun with your boy now. You keep that in mind while you watch. Stop! No. Quit no. your squirming! Stop! Shut up! No! You're just making this worse. I'll fucking kill you! Think you can beat me in a fight? You ain't got but one hand. We're gonna fuck the boy. And then... Oh there! What you gonna do now? Oh? Fuck. Ah! 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 Oh. Huh? Stay back! I'll kill the boy! Let the boy go. He's mine. No, stay back! Just stay back! No! Please! Please! No! <laughs> he asleep? Yeah. Just in time for the sun to come up. You don't just come back from something like that. You don't rip a man apart, hold his insides in your hand. Can't go back to being dear old dad after that. You're never the same. Not after what you did. You can fake it. I feel like I already have been. The fact is, I've done things. This isn't the first thing to chip away at my soul until I wonder if I'm still human. Probably won't be the last. My son is all I have. I don't know what I wouldn't do to protect him. Sometimes that scares me, but it doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> Abraham. I... I think it's time I tell you how I lost my family. 